We're going to be talking about double knock strategies and some of the things we need to think about from an application point of view. So by double knocks, typically we're talking about using a, a translocated product like glyphosate followed by a second hit with something like Paraquat. I guess one of the starting considerations is how much capacity you have with the sprayer. Um, the ability to get across the country in a reasonable time frame. So you may be looking at coming back within about seven days with a Paraquat. So all the considerations about the machine are very important. So starting with things like boom width and boom stability, as well as tank size, those issues will get across more country, less wheel tracks, those types of issues. So as a starting point, consider can you get across your country in that period of time? And if not, what things can you do to increase that capacity? It may be as simple as a, a larger tank size if that suits the machine, but that brings in issues of agitation, pump capacity, making sure that the products are mixed, as well as boom width. And so wider booms tend to get more hectares per hour, but we need to think about issues of boom stability, boom height control, and I guess also matching the width of that machine to the other implements. So issues like the boom should be in multiples of your planter width and probably your header width to fit in with that system really well. And that means running over the ground a less number of times, less issues out in the paddock. Okay, so apart from the machine issues and the capacity, I guess we get down to the nuts and bolts of the application. That's thinking about things like water volume and nozzle selection. So when it comes to your double knock strategies, we're dealing with two different modes of action typically. You've got your glyphosate type products or fully translocated, which often will allow you to get away with a coarse spray quality at application volume somewhere around 60 litres depending on your stubble load. But we also need to consider where the deposition ends up. So getting between the stubble lines is quite easy, but actually getting between the stubble and getting penetration there um, can be a bit of a challenge. As I said, your fully translocated products will be a little more forgiving, but when it comes to a contact where they're not going to translocate, then we need to think about higher application rates and sometimes being at the smaller end of course or towards medium, depending on what the product label requires. So generally we're talking about 80 litres plus, and the higher the stubble load or the heavier the stubble load, typically the more volume you need to get that deposition in and around those areas. Now trying to achieve that with a, a single nozzle going from 60 to 80 may be possible with some designs depending on your speed range, but it may not be possible with all nozzles to get the droplet size and volume you want. So very careful consideration of the nozzle type, what volume will do and what spray quality it produces at your speed range is very important. So again, with your fully translocated products, typically I'd say products like glyphosate, somewhere around 60 litres with a coarse, um, when you come to a contact type product like a Paraquat, you're probably wanting to bring that volume somewhere up around 80 litres plus depending on the stubble load and typically the smaller end of course towards medium depending on the conditions. And a lot of that comes back to your nozzle selection to match your speed and also the target and where those weeds are actually lying.